Hi, um, I'm getting ready to paint with cold wax. You saw me um, make my palette colors in the previous video where I mixed all of my colors with um, black and white and with cold wax and I used two colors. I used only uh, Indian yellow and uh, Lagoon blue. So I am going to paint on this painting behind me. This is an old cold wax that was never finished and I'm not really loving it. So I have decided to paint over it. So I wanna show you how I start a painting and uh, with the cold wax and I'm painting on the wall. I have it uh, hanging on two clips. So I'm going to start this with um, uh, one layer of color and then I will continue on after it sets up. So I'm going to show you how I apply my first layer. Just pretend there's nothing on this canvas, even though this will show through later on, probably. So I'm going to use a brayer. And this is the new brayer from um, Cold Wax Book. It's their new, new brayer, and I'm going to try it out this morning. I think it's going to be great, and I think it's going to clean up nice. So I got this from the... Hi. Hi there. How I, are you? Good. You're more than welcome to walk around. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you having a good day? I am. Thank you. So here goes. see that the lower level does show through and since there's texture on this it's making some interesting marks I'm filming so just I'm not oh, talking well, I, to I myself. figured that we at first I'm I thought you were crazy but myself. then I realized you're <laughs> we'll check it out on YouTube okay there you go, there you go. charged my brayer really well and I like putting it on with uh, a brayer because it's very thin you do want your your layers to be thin when you first start out and you can put it on with a squeegee as well but I prefer the brayer because I can get it on thinner and I can get it to be more transparent So I'm going to keep going and cover my entire painting with this color. And just to brighten this color up a little bit, I am going to add a, a second layer of a lighter, brighter blue. I do. Okay. If that's the one that's a couple of days. Yes. Or is that the one that's like no, five it's, hours? It's, it's Friday night, all day Saturday, and all day Sunday. Okay. And it's next next Friday. It's coming Friday. Oh, it's already coming up. Yeah. Okay. I'll be doing another one in January. Yeah, that's probably better timing for me. Okay. So, yeah. And you're her mom? Yes. Okay. Cool. just putting a, a brighter color on here. I'm putting it on very thin and what's underneath it is hard dry so I don't have to worry about what pressure I'm using because it's very 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 dry. Thank you. 
now. I'm just going to let this be and let it set up. And uh, usually it would take anywhere from 35 to an, minutes to an hour for it to set up. So I am going to continue on with this a little bit later. So there you have it. Thanks, guys. I will... I'll probably uh, put another layer on this uh, tomorrow. I'm, qu I'm quitting for the day. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Have a great day. Thanks. Here again is my palette that I mixed up in the previous, in the previous uh, video. And uh, here is my brayer. And I'm just going to wipe that really good and maybe spray it with some Gamma Salt to clean it up. And what you can do, since I'm not going to be painting again until tomorrow, I will just put some saran wrap over this, and it will stay fresh for me until tomorrow. So I'll see you then.